I can't believe it's Saturday again. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome again to my channel. I am just in our bedroom. It's so dark. It's very cloudy outside and I am getting mentally ready to change the sheet and uh, do the bed and start the weekend. I have my smoothie sitting on a chest of drawers which I need to drink and uh, yeah this weekend weather is not going to be as nice as the last weekend which is shame but also quite good because we can finally um deal with stuff which we need to deal with the most important thing is that our fridge is leaking for some reason we don't know yet why but the other day i came home and i stepped into the puddle with my socks on which is the most uncomfortable feeling if you uh know what i mean <laughs> stepping into something wet with the socks on it's like oh i uh, shivered actually after that happened so we need to uh, pull the fridge out and have a look what is happening i read online that there might be something going on with the tray behind the fridge we'll see if we can solve it ourselves i hope we can but also I wanted to go and pick some strawberries. I'm not sure if this will be possible. The weather is not that great, but we will see. I hope we will, but I don't know. How are you doing, people? How is your week? How is your weekend? I didn't post any vlog last week because I um, started vlogging on Saturday and then I didn't finish because I got another period. I think that was a reaction for my COVID vaccine. I'm not sure, but I did um, heard about a lot of women having the cycles messed up after vaccination and I think that's what happened. So I had my first period after vaccine usually as i would have it it was quite mild it wasn't very heavy or anything so it was very unusual for me and then i had a week break and then i got another period so last weekend on saturday i was fine sunday morning i woke up i managed to work out and then the rest of the day i just spent on the sofa <laughs> sleeping and napping and feeling exhausted i did um get some iron tablets to get more energy and i'm feeling much better this week the period is gone and i hope it won't come back again so i'm not sure i will see and wait how my body will react and if i will have any other bleedings if yes then i'll probably will gonna have to go and see somebody some professional to seek help or if that was really just a reaction on the first vaccine i'm going to be having next one next month so i hope i will get a break anyways need to change the sheets need to start doing some laundry and dealing with stuff don't really want to but it needs to be done i'm scared about the fridge because i don't want to deal with the problems in the house i hate that it's stressing me out so much when something doesn't work as it should be i'm not sure how you are dealing with that but we do have agreement that if there is something going on in the house then my partner is responsible for dealing with that stuff because i cannot i'm not capable if just something is wrong there is a hole somewhere where it shouldn't be something is leaking something doesn't work as it should be it's just stressing me out inside i cannot deal with that stuff so <laughs> i kind of um push that uh, responsibility for my other half and that's quite good i think it's quite fair i'm also wearing my workout outfit i am feeling positive that i will work out at some point today let's let's do the bed Thank you. One thing done and about 3,058,000 more to go. So let's do it. Let's start the weekend and let's do it. And I am where I belong to once again. I am in the kitchen just working on a recipe for K-lime K -lime pie or key lime pie. How do you pronounce that? I think it's K-lime pie. I don't know. The recipe is from Ella Vegan and it's absolutely delicious. We already made it once 
and we loved it very much and I think it's finally summery weather and we can enjoy it once again so I have my base prepared over here I just need to put the cream into the base which is in a blender at the moment and then put it into the oven and on the top I will be putting a uh, coconut cream yeah the whipped coconut cream it's completely vegan and delicious and I would 100% recommend you to try this pie I will link it down below her recipes are really good very easy and tasty some of them do require some weird ingredients which I don't usually have in my cupboard but most of the ingredients are very tasty Whew. I am tired <laughs> I still didn't work out I have had a lunch but I'm still very full and I don't think working out will be a good thing to do we managed to deal with the fridge it's already done and I think the problem was the tray which was behind so if you do have a leaking fridge freezer that might be an issue so you might consider to check that out so what we did we just pulled the fridge out and the tray should be underneath the compressor or what is it and it's actually catching up the water and the water should evaporate from a tray our tray was um, wasn't sitting straight on the compressor it was slightly tilted one side so I think that was the problem that when the water went in the water didn't have enough of room to collect itself and it was leaking outside so let's hope that that is solved I left the towel on the floor just in case uh, we didn't solve the problem but I think that was um, that was the issue because the tray wasn't sitting on properly I cleaned it anyways um, it was a little bit dirty but I think this was the the biggest problem that it wasn't sitting straight I had a pizza for lunch but not a pizza which I made <laughs> I bought the frozen pizza this morning this is how it goes when you go to supermarket hungry so I went and buy myself this um, Chicago, Chicago, Chicago town pepperoni pizza which um, looked like this when I took it out of the packaging so it was slightly crooked but it was good I would really be happy to skip the middle part I would be <laughs> very happy to get rid of the middle and just really eat the crust <laughs> and the cheese fitted crust so can you somewhere buy just crust with the cheese i don't want the whole pizza i don't really like the cheese and sauce and uh, pepperoni which they are using it wasn't very tasty but the crust is so delicious that it's actually worth it <laughs> but now i'm so stuffed because i don't usually eat things like that so now i need to move around and get my digestion going and then maybe in about an hour I will do my workout but let's do the pie because I'm very excited for it so this is how it looks like at the moment I just smooth the cream into the crust and now it all goes into the oven for 175 degrees celsius for 30 to 35 minutes and then you need to cool it and then put the whipping cream on the top i am so excited i honestly i cannot wait to eat it i finally worked out <laughs> i did manage to squeeze in a workout it was amazing so pumped with the music I enjoyed it very much finally don't feel so stuffed with the pizza which I devoured over the lunchtime and now it is time to finish our pie so let's do this I'm also wearing my um, daisy dress <laughs> because I am still feeling very summery so let's do the cream I have the Biona organic coconut coconut I don't know how to speak organic coconut whipping cream and we are going to whip it in a uh, mixing bowl with the hand mixer so let's do it and let's finish this cake
got to put it into the fridge and then use it as a whipping cream so no we are not going to finish this cake i need to put it into the fridge because this does not look like a whipping cream i hope i can still save it so i will catch up with you later let's try this again i put it into the fridge for about an hour and now we can try it again if this won't work then i don't know what i'm going to do because i don't have any other coconut cream so this is our only chance to nail it Fingers crossed, it will work. Nope. Plan B. The coconut cream doesn't work. I tried it three times now and it didn't work, the whipping, whipping cream. But I just remembered that I actually had the coconut cream in my cupboard. So basically I just poured it over my pie and now I'm going to put it into the fridge and I hope it will get um, thick enough. So we will be able to eat it. Well, I was so pleased with myself that my pie looked very nice when I took it out of the oven because usually my baking doesn't look particularly nice, but it's usually very tasty. Doesn't look that great. But today I was very surprised that my pie looked reasonably nice. That I would actually present it to somebody and feed somebody strange with my pie. And then I messed up the whipping cream. Oh, I'm so stupid. I used it before. I knew that it does need to go into the fridge before I'll start working with it. But somehow I forgot and I messed it up. I guess this will teach me a lesson for the future. I might need to put some uh, note <laughs> into my recipe book. But now I think that's it for the Saturday. And I will see you tomorrow and until I'll sleep and wake up and film again, you can watch this beautiful relaxing clip of our plants in our garden. Enjoy it, relax and see you after. <music>
feeling a little bit woo woozy and uh, not very energetic so i didn't work out in the morning we will see if i will feel like it i will hop on a bike in the afternoon but uh, no pressure no pressure i'm not wearing workout clothes didn't want to put too much pressure on myself so the cake we tasted yesterday was delicious i don't know if i mentioned it here I don't remember what did I film yesterday. I did put just the coconut cream, which I had at home. I mixed that nicely and I put that on the top, which is not the greatest because it doesn't have the same consistency as a whipping cream, but it, it did the job and it tastes good. I forgot to also mention when I was making the cake that I didn't use the liquid sweetener, which is um, in the recipe, but instead, I looked on the amount, the whole amount of liquid sweetener which should go into the recipe and I blended five dates with the amount of water which was supposed to be a liquid sweetener and this way I created my own sweetener or sweet substitution because I don't do sugar and I don't do sweeteners because most of them are just the pure chemicals and I don't think they are that great for for you and for your body so this is uh, how i alternated my recipe now today i see it's going to be chill day but i came with a plan for the future uh, we were just talking and seeing what's happening around in the world and i came up with a great plan for my channel for the future and the things which I would love to do and love to work on and love to create but I cannot really do that now <laughs> because I have a very little channel and that will require me to work with other people which I don't think they would be that happy to do that because I have 96 subscribers so I need to gain a bit more subscribers I think and a bit more views on my videos and then I can possibly work on that and i would love it and it would be so much fun and it would be so educational and i think it would be better quality and they're generally better everything so if you want to help me <laughs> to achieve this goal please subscribe to my channel and like videos and maybe spread the word around with your friends maybe recommend my channel to somebody who might like to watch it I would love to get to the point where I can actually do something, some bigger project and do some more interesting content. Well, at least it would be interesting for me. So I hope you will find it interested, interesting. But yeah, this is what I need. I need more subscribers. I'm stuck on 96. I had 98 last week and then two people unsubscribed. I'm really sorry that you left my channel, but I guess you didn't like it that much. And as well, another thing which I wanted to talk about because I never asked that. So if you are watching my videos and you are still watching this video and you have any ideas, how can I improve my content? What else can I do? Or what other content you are interested on watching on um, YouTube and you think that I would be able to provide that for you or do something else with my videos then please let me know and i would like to hear your feedback and i would like to know what can i improve what can i do better and what you think i should change or do in the future and this way i can you know make more interesting content for you also you might enjoy watching it as well hopefully <laughs> that i will be able to do it but yeah let's just get a bit more interaction so if you do have any ideas feel free to leave a comment some good feedback or if you want to tell me everything that i'm doing wrong i will have to see it it will be hard but i will have to go through it and if you'll give me some good points and explain to me what am i doing wrong then i will be happy and you know learn something more so that would be something nice which we can do together and which you can help me to improve myself yeah okay now i need to cook a lunch today we just have simple lunch just thing which i found in a freezer we are going to have a chicken breast 
um, which will be fried sort of um, Austrian schnitzel type of chicken breast which is covered in uh, flour, egg and breadcrumbs fried and then we have tons of new potatoes so this will be the side um, just boiled new potatoes and that's it i don't feel like doing anything too special and then after lunch we can enjoy our key lime pie okay lime pie still don't know how to pronounce it i guess that i can improve to learn more pronunciation and to uh, work on my vocabulary i do work on it every single day i'm listening to tons of audiobook i'm reading a lot of books but um, i'm lacking the human contact and um conversation these days because of the covid and i don't see that many people i don't go and interact with many people so this is slightly harder i cannot really improve that but i'm just going to stop talking and start cooking